Uh, guns.com. A drone is apparently used earlier this month to deliver a handgun inside a Canadian prison. Or inside one of Canada's most violent prisons. So, this is actually kind of really weird. Um, let's see here. Uh, there's prisons in Montreal, the Riviera des Prey Detention Center in Montreal, which houses members of some of the country's most notorious mafia, biker, and street gangs. It was placed on lockdown with all the inmates confiscated confined to their cells, corrections, emergency response team, ECIU, wearing bulletproof vests, underwent massive and intensive search for the facility. Um, while the delivery of prohibited contraband into prisons via drones is nothing new, authorities say the delivery of a weapon was the first for Quebec. So, this is coming from guns.com. They're sourcing La Presse, or however you say it, La Presse. And I don't know if La Presse or La Presse is going to come up, and doesn't look like it's going to come up, but I'll source it in the, uh, you know, down below where I source all my stuff nowadays. But let's talk about this for a little bit, because this is actually kind of important. We're talking about the idea that a Canadian prison had a drone fly over and dropped a handgun. Not only was it a prison, and unfortunately it was in Canada, I wish it would have been like down south in Texas or some, I mean, west in Texas or somewhere. But this was a Canadian prison, folks, so I, I don't know what Canadian prisons are like. You know, do they just all play hockey? I, I, I really don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, folks. But evidently, this one holds, like, the street gangs, mafia persons, delinquents of all shapes, sizes, etc. And this one's supposedly in Montreal. Um... So, I really wondered about this, and I really wondered what this was and what this was not. And it doesn't seem like there's a lot on this. I'm trying to wait for the other page to load, and it's not. So, I will definitely give that to you. Um, the other website is leprosay.ca, Actuality, Justice, and Affairs, Criminals. Ah, it's actually loading. Okay, so... This one starts off in French, so you may have to hit translate. And this page is being translated. So, so a drone over the prison of Riviera de Prez was spotted. I'm trying to get to it. There we go. Alright, so what I'll do is I will leave both of these stories for you guys and let you look this over because this is actually kind of important. Um, Daniel Renaud from the press, emergency measures were taken and investigations are underway in Riviera des Prairies. Detention Center in Montreal try to find a handgun that would have been filed in the court of the establishment by the drone. I don't know, there's something about an original text here. I'm getting a weird window I can't get rid of. So, oh, there we go, I clicked out of it. I'm trying to think if this says anything really new. So this happened in Sector um, in, in the prison. I guess this is where all their criminal people were. And basically, it is increasingly common for drones or, to be used for tobacco products, drugs, cell phones, and other items in the courtyards, in the prisons, and the penitentiaries. But this is the first fly-in over Quebec. 
So um, I can show you this real quick. Let's see here. Oh, come on. Let's see if... Uh, there we go, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this from the press and guns.com here. So, these are my two sources. As always, unless I forget or something, um, they will be in the, uh, whatchamacallit, in the sources. Alright, this is running really slow for some reason. I'm only at, like, 2,000 frames or so, and I'm usually a lot higher than that, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go on this one. Thank you guys. God bless everything else.